sunny weather again today. Although we're getting a lot of warnings, like this one here says, dangerous heat ahead for BC, no hint of rain. It actually drizzled only that one day actually from what I remember, but yeah, it hasn't been actually raining in terms of pouring or anything like that in such a long time. Let's see if the heat wave actually comes back like they say. It was horrible last time. It was surprised how many deaths there were. And what's some other things that were happening today? Well, apparently there was a new Sony camera release. This one was actually that one with the delayed announcement last time. This one says, Sony Electronics introduces the new interchangeable lens vlog camera, ZVE10 for vloggers and video creators. Usually there are a lot of smaller ones that are really portable and convenient, but the lens itself is actually attached to the camera, so there's no flexibility. Whereas this one, you can actually take the lens out and replace it with something else. So if you want something wide, you can put that one in. If you want something that has a big zoom, you can replace it with that. And they say, like they said here, they're targeting people, I guess, creating things like vlogging videos and all that. And how do they describe it? It says the ZVE10 is an APS-C interchangeable lens camera, designed and enhanced for the creative, featuring multiple innovative shooting modes, including product showcase and background defocus. It shoots in 4K with 6K oversampling, a high quality built-in three capsule mic. Because with cameras like these, many times when you're just walking around the place and all that, you don't want to carry some kind of huge cinema camera rig with you. It just seems impractical. You'll probably miss the shot too by the time you start it up. And what is the price of this? Apparently, it's about $700 US or $900 Canadian. And it says here, and a kit version with the EPZ1650 mm OSS power zoom lens will be available for around $800 US or $1,000 Canadian. So more on the affordable end compared to the bigger stuff, obviously. And then how's about this, I guess, for anti-drone tech? Although the title at first says coyote, we had all those coyote attacks here around the area. This one says, non-kinetic coyote aces US Army tests. Raytheon missiles and defense, a Raytheon technologies business successfully defeated a swarm of drones with its reusable Coyote Block 3 non-kinetic effector during a US Army test. The demonstration moves the variant closer to deployment. They do show a video of this. To me, actually, it almost looked like toy Nerf guns firing in the sky. Is this derived from the expendable Coyote loitering munition? The Block 3 utilizes a non-kinetic warhead to neutralize enemy drones, reducing potential collateral damage. Unlike its expendable counterpart, the non-kinetic variant can be recovered, refurbished, and reused without leaving the battlefield. This test demonstrates the effectiveness of Coyote to counter complex unmanned aircraft systems. As a non-kinetic variant, we're offering an effective weapon against the threat and value to the Army in the form of an affordable, reusable asset. Although it does make way more sense in those stories that I read where people were flying, I don't know, some kind of small drone, let's just say phantom size, and they were firing literally one million to two million dollar missiles to take out these little small targets. This makes way more sense overall.
Alright, see you guys later.